Hi, hi everyone. Um, this is Manthi here from the Cheese Collective. Of course, if if you guys are talking about cheese, I was most excited to be a part of this. So thank you so much for having me, you guys. Um, Elizabeth and I uh, connected, of course, over cheese, and we took it from there. And we have an amazing, amazing map that we want to share with you guys. See, imagine an entire map of India with a plotting of every cheese maker, every cheese, uh, you know, cheese retailer. Oh, there it is. I mean, just, just look at that. That's, that's us, um, that's us, that's Indians who are making cheese, who are selling cheese. And some of them are as new as a few months old. And some of them are, you know, they started a couple of decades ago. So there's a lot of history on this map. And of course, there are a lot of uh, cheeses that have been there with us since, since you know, uh, dec you know, not just decades, but they've been there, they're prehistoric indigenous Indian cheeses. So we have a good mix of everything. We got together, we spoke to a bunch of uh, people, we interviewed them and we have collated all that information. And I am gonna now, you know, I'm gonna let uh, Elizabeth introduce you uh, to a little bit about what Food Forward India does and how, you know, how this map, this Google Earth actually works. And yes, Elizabeth, are you here? Yes, I am. Hi. hi, hi everyone. Um, really great to be here and um, uh, be here with you all to talk about this project that we did together with Mansi. Um, so I'm Elizabeth and I am the assistant project manager at Food Forward India. And so uh, Food Forward India is an initiative that's um, exploring and uh, discovering um, uh, food around India. And the main aim uh, of what we do is basically we want to kind of broaden the narrative uh, and uh, from the current stereotypes that we have that is uh, called like Indian food. Um, and our main work actually was um, supposed to be traveling around uh, lots of field work, uh, visiting different people in different places and, and learning about cheese, uh, learning about, I'm saying cheese, but learning about cultures and traditions um, across India. But obviously the pandemic happened and our explorations uh, all became virtual. Um, and so we decided to meet people, see if we can meet people virtually, understand their homes um, through a series that we call the virtual escapes that you can find on our Instagram and also put it into a digital media where we have our website launching soon, which would be um, a which would enable people to, uh, which would be an interactive space for people to kind of explore this journey of food with us. Um, so how, what and why and how did we get to cheese? Um, well, nothing gets cheddar than this. <laughs> I was told to use as many cheese funds as possible. <laughs> um, but um, so cheese is actually may not be like the first thing um, we think about uh, when we hear Indian food. So maybe amul cheese and maybe paneer. Um, but that list actually kind of stops there. But having the, a really rich culinary landscape that we do with our climatic zones that are similar to Europe. So many pastoralist communities um, uh, that out of necessity preserve food in all forms. So factors like these obviously are bound, uh, you know, for us to create some of these delicious products from dairy. Um, going way back, like Mansi said, you know, to the Indus Valley civilization, um, we, I think, cultured butter, bu cultured ghee way before the Europeans uh, cultured um, uh, butter. And so our curiosity has led us to curating the, this modern timeline of cheese with, with Mansi from the Cheese Collective that represents people, producers, and communities who've kind of brought to life recognition of Indian and Indian, indigenous cheese. So why was it this kind of like important for us to do? Well, it was important for us to do because as I said before, like the main aim of Food Forward India is to break these stereotypes of Indian cuisine and add more like um, com complexity to the narrative of food. 
um and cheese was one ingredient like uh, you're going to hear dr rolifson uh, whose story and journey is absolutely lovely and amazing um and it it shows us how this one ingredient uh can showcase the diversity of products and techniques through the communities they represent and we're able to see people places hear their stories um and it, this opens our mind to food culture and creates a kind of sense of inclusivity um in 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 these in these dialogues um and so uh, the first step for us was obviously to find a collaborator so we reached out to the wonderful uh Mansi Jasani uh, who is doing she's she's like the cheese queen <laughs> with with all of her um uh with with her curation of cheese her collective and 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 also um and and also her um her vast knowledge of cheese so uh, it was very exciting to learn that Mansi co-authored um the chapter in the oxford companion to cheese on india and this was this is again another culinary landmark and so together we called all curd nerds uh and we asked them about um these different like significant memories that they had uh about cheese what what did cheese mean to them in their communities uh what was their cheese origin story um when did this cheese origin story begin and and how how did they start um and what were their aha moments as they went through cheese so we didn't just want to share these stories randomly uh but we wanted to create um a, a way that if if you were new to indian cheese you could you could maybe chronologically go along this timeline to learn more about how these different cheese makers kind of came into place um we started as we called it a modern timeline so we started at operation flood which was um which was around the time of the white revolution which cheese uh, dairy processing really took off in india because of the excess uh, milk supply um and and so we 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 tried to create and add in cheese makers as they started their journey and 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 learn of their stories um and so i'm i'm really excited today to be here because of of also two people who really like uh, brought together this 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 journey for us obviously mansi who we we collaborated with to make this possible and dr rolifson who who i said again who whose story really inspired us and helped us think so much more outside of the box of what cheese was within the community 